20,000 people have been killed in Gaza since Israel began bombarding it 10 weeks ago, according to Palestinian officials. After days of intense negotiation to avoid a U.S. veto, on Friday, the United Nations Security Council is expected to vote on a resolution that will deliver more aid to Gaza. Israel is against the resolution's original provisions that call for the UN to take over inspection of aid trucks and immediate cessation of hostilities. U.S. Ambassador to the UN Linda Thomas-Greenfield indicated her support for the current resolution text. It's a resolution that will bring humanitarian assistance to those in need. It will support uh, the uh, the priority that Egypt has in ensuring that we put uh, a mechanism um, on the ground that will support humanitarian assistance. As Israel continues its ground operation, President Joe Biden's unwillingness to call for a ceasefire has damaged ties with members of the American Muslim community who organized the abandoned Biden campaign. We are announcing that President Biden has lost the 2024 election. We are not powerless as American Muslims, we are powerful. We don't only have the money, but we have the actual votes. National Security Council's John Kirby acknowledged the anger. We're abs absolutely listening and, and trying to get um, a better understanding of all these different perspectives. That said, no nation should have to live with the threat that Hamas poses to Israel. No nation should have to live with that next door. A majority of Americans, particularly young voters, disapprove of Biden's handling of the war, according to a New York Times poll. The poll numbers are shocking, frankly. Uh, an accelerated drift away from Biden, Arab Americans, progressives, um, voters of color, all of these groups um, are against what appears to be Biden's solid support for Israel. And that could, in a closed election, take a toll. So I think the administration needs to tamp Gaza down, move toward a reconstruction and humanitarian assistance, and then wrap the whole thing in a serious commitment to an end state. The same poll shows that voters believe likely Republican nominee Donald Trump would do a better job of handling Gaza. Americans are split between those calling for a ceasefire and those who want Israel to win, even if more casualties mount, leaving Biden with political pressure from both sides. Patsy Widakuswara, viewing News at the White House.